in this video we're going to explore how we can play around with the bubble chart and then what we will do is we will change the point style or the shapes of these into triangles, circles, uh, rectangles like these or rounded rectangles and here of course is the star and these cross types. So we have all of these options here. So let's start to explore how we can do that. In this video we're going to focus on how to create a bubble chart with different point style in Chart.js. So this question came from one of my other videos about how to create a Chart.js bubble chart. And in here, you can see here the question came from Kamlesh Prajapati. So a special thank you to Kamlesh for asking the question. And this is what Kamlesh asked. Hi sir, can you make a video for bubble chart for different point style? All point style is not displaying on the bubble chart. Please help. All right, so let's start to figure out what is going on here. All right, by default, it should show, but I'm going to show you exactly what we can do with all these different point styles. So first of all, what we need is here is go to chartjs3.com, getting started. We're going to get a default code. And you might notice this here, for some reason, my Google Chrome gives an error. Anyway, copy all of this. And if you want to understand what this code does, you can always watch this video here that explains the JavaScript of it. So what we're going to do, we're going to paste this code in here. And then what I will do is just cut out the title, put in the title here. And then next I will save this and then refresh. And now we have a bar chart. But what we want is we want to have a bubble chart. To have a bubble chart, we need to change some structures or at least some items in the JavaScript data. For example, the labels should be removed. And then in here, the data we have a different structure of data. So I'm going to put in here and enter and enter. And then here, what I'm going to do here now is 30 braces. And then we say here X value, and I will just grab here the X value will be 18, comma, and then there's another Y value, and the Y value would be, well, anything, number two. And then we have the R value, and the R value equals the radius. And the radius would be how big the bubble should be, how many pixels. So let's say five. And what I'm going to do here just for this, I'm just going to copy all of this, make sure you have the comma as well. And I'm going to paste this uh, seven times, make sure we have that all correct. All right, so now we have this. So then what I want to do here is just have some default random numbers. There's a nine, uh, let's say here, four, six, and a nine. And then this here will be four, six, eight, and then here again, six, four, all right, and then the radius here, maybe this will be seven, nine, then here, 10, we can leave that on five, seven, and nine. All right, so what I will do is I will create or duplicate this. So I will say this one will be, uh, let's say circle shape, circle sales, all right, so I'm just going to duplicate this, and then I will make another data set, and that data set, I want to convert that into something else. You can say here triangle, and a triangle will have different numbers, so I'm going to just get some random numbers here, uh, 5, 4, 7, one, uh, well maybe 1, that's alright, 7 and 4, and here I will say 8, 9, 3, 2, 9, well uh, maybe here 7, and then here six all right and then this five and that's it all right so we're going to get now just a different color here i'll just grab this specific color here put it in there and put it here also for the border color and the border color will be single a solid so that's why you have this same here remove everything except for the upper one and then we have a nice red color here we can just copy this paste that in there put a comma and i'll say here transparency of 0.2 there we are so if I save this now what will happen is basically oh, we have this what is happening here makes sense because we didn't indicate a bubble yet so if I save now here we should have a bubble and as you can see here oh, I can see here maybe this needs to be slightly changed but that's all right so what we're going to do now is the following I want to put in here a point style so the default point style is always a circle so we can indicate here a different point 
style. So let's say here point style will be triangle. And if I save this and then refresh, we can see here now they become triangles in here. So this is basically how you can do it. What we can do as well, so let's do another one. And you can see here, you can also do it in random. So why we don't set, uh, specify on the first one uh, any point style? Because by default, it's set as a circle. So what we can do here, comma, and let me do this. Let's say here, this is a uh, square. And I'm not sure if square is the right term for this, but uh, we can say here, I guess it's rec. We go that, all right, doesn't work, fair enough. So if it doesn't work, that should be rec rounded. If I do this one, doesn't work as well. Let's see, what am I missing? Uh, all right, I have here a double comma. Let's save that, let's do that one. All right, so we have the rec rounded here. What I want to do here, maybe the rec rounded should be, uh, Let's see if it's rec. I think it's rec. There you are. You can see now they become squares, but they're on top of each other and they have a uh, very identical color with a triangle. So, what I will do is I will just say here nine, and this is one, two, three, four, and one. And here I'll say one, two, three, four, five, uh, and then here one and two. All right. Then you can see here now, now we have all of these here, beautiful. So what we can do as well is the final one is, for example, maybe you want this in a more random pattern. So we're gonna create an array out of it. And then we say here, just simple, this and then we uh, circle, triangle, comma, um, what we can do here, star. If I refresh this now, all right, there we are, do we get all different shapes? You can see here, this is the star, we have the circle, we have the square, triangle, well, let's do something else. Uh, here, cross. This will be a rec rounded. Then you will notice it more easier. Here we have this cross, there's the cross, this is the star, rec rounded, and then this is a square rectangle. So basically, this is the way how you can play with all these different shapes. So, if you like this video and maybe say, well, hold on, this is all fancy, but what about this here? What we can do as well is to adjust this. If you want to learn how to adjust on the legend, I have another video as well that shows you exactly how you can adjust the point style on the legend as well.